What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to UNPL Week 4. This week, we take on our fellow commissioner, Kurt the Buzzwole and his Emerald Enamorous, and we are in for a heck of a commissioner's bowl right here. Before we jump into it, though, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we're going to do a quick team builder, and then we will jump into the battle. But of course, there will be a timestamp down below if you would like to skip ahead. Now, Kurt and I have never actually battled before. We were in the same division last season in UNPL, but our schedules didn't line up, so we never actually played. So this time around, I'm looking to make a good impression and bring some interesting things. I, I plan to meme this week, and I hope that I hope that Kurt is as well. We both are are looking to maintain positive records. I, I'm looking to get an even record. He's at two and one, so he's trying to go to three and one. Uh, so. You know, if, if we win, then we'll both be at uh, two and two and we could both possibly see each other in playoffs afterwards. Who knows? But so looking at his team, he got third pick overall. So he got gouging fire, which is pretty scary. Uh, that, that Mon is really good. Obviously, we're a rain team, so we got a lot of water. But this thing is still just super bulky and it's got a lot of really great tools. So it can still be very hard to take down. Uh, he also has Ryko stupid good into my team it's faster than my whole team it hits really hard it can take advantage of rain with thunder it's just a really hard mon to deal with slow king is a mon that i don't break very well treads is a great mon i've i've drafted it before and it's it's really good mandibuzz i wanted that really bad last season missed out on it septile also could be a huge problem araquanid for webs dash bun is a really cool terra option maybe uh and then we've also got regigigas regigigas is such a cool meme and you know if, if you can get it on the field and and stay there for five turns it might be a threat, but uh, it's it's kind of a tough sell sometimes. And then Hariyama, always a great mod. It's super bulky, hits pretty hard. And then Gloom as well. So this team is really cool. Um, the biggest threats that I see are Septile and Raikou. Um, and of course, Gouging Fire. The, they all are, are really good options. And so I wanted to build a team that I felt confident with using, but I also wanted to bring the memes this week in order to make this a true Commissioner's Ball. So let's take a look at what I brought. First up, we've got Sableye, and this little guy is one of our more normal sets this week. We're just running max defense. Uh, we're running the Lagging Tail this week to try to trick that onto the Sceptile, maybe even the Raikou, just depending. Uh, we want to slow those down just because they are so quick. Tricking a Lagging Tail, of course, would also negate Unburden on the Sceptile, so that's also a really big deal. Um, we did bring Knock Off this week. I gotta be careful not to knock off what I trick. Uh, so that that might be might be a little interesting but uh, we've also got screens here to help with the bulk pretty standard stuff nothing too crazy there then the memes start with zapdos zapdos has stayed on the bench for a little bit and we wanted to bring it back but we've got blunder policy this week with some inaccurate moves hurricane thunder weather ball and roost We've got uh, a little bit of speed on there. This is enough speed to outrun a Scarfed or plus one Ryko. Uh, and so that should be a pretty good benchmark to shoot for. Uh, no matter what I do, I'm not gonna outrun an unburdened uh, Sceptile, so I'm not really worried about that. And then we've got some bulk in there as well. Uh, but yeah, with all of this uh, coverage, I think we can hit his team really well. His team doesn't take flying type attacks all that well, so Hurricane is pretty spammable. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going to put in some decent work. Next up, our Chaladon. We haven't brought this in a couple of weeks, and I've been really wanting to use it. Now, this set is specifically for Raiko because there's no way that he doesn't bring Raiko. So we've got a Citrus Berry this week with the Stamina ability and we are mostly Spadef and we have Mirror Coat. Now Mirror Coat is a move that I normally would never think to bring, but Raiko is really difficult for me to take down. Even, even with all of the coverage, it can just kind of take hits. And with it being so fast, I'm really worried about it. And of course, if it uh, takes up my Pelipper, that could be a problem. It gets Scald, which could help it with Great Tusk. Uh, it, it's just, it's got a lot of good coverage. And so basically the idea with our Chalanon is to come in, take whatever hit he wants to go for first. Then we do have enough bulk to then also take an Aura Sphere because he definitely will have that as well. And then fire back with a Mirror Coat and then uh, clean that up afterwards. So 
This is a really, really cool tech. Uh, I think that it's gonna work out really, really well for us, and I'm super pumped. Next up, Pelipper. Of course, just bringing the rain, nothing super crazy about this. We're max defense, hurricane, weather ball, roost, U-turn. Uh, not, not really a whole lot to talk about. We've got the damp rock to keep the rain up as long as possible, but pretty standard stuff there. Then Kingdra. Now this is as far from standard as you can go. We are max defense, Kingdra with bold nature, swift swim, and leftovers. We are whirlpool with yawn this week. This is specifically to counter his gouging fire. Gouging fire doesn't get anything that can deal with this. And so basically the idea is to come in on this. He feel kind of confident in taking a hit and then firing back with a dragon move when I go for the Fairy Terra, trap it in with Whirlpool, put it to sleep, and then wear it down with Dragon Pulses. Uh, this is this is a really, really fun set. Uh, completely a meme, definitely not a serious set, but I think it could put in some work, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to using something like this. Um, I, I think it's got potential. I think it's got some potential. Then lastly, we've got Great Tusk, which is definitely far from standard in the EV spread, but as far as the moves go, pretty normal. Uh, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Ice Spinner, and Rapid Spin. We do have Mirror Herb this week. This is to catch the Dragon Dance from Gouging Fire. Um, this could also catch like a Rapid Spin from Treads, although Treads isn't really a likely thing to stay in on us, so that's a little less likely to proc. Um, there are, of course, a couple other options, maybe like a, a bulk up from Hariyama or um, I, I don't know. There, there, are, there are some other options, but uh, it's mainly there for the Dragon Dance from Gouging Fire. And we are, uh, we're pretty bulky here as well in order to live uh, several things on there as well. So that's the squad for this week. I hope you guys are looking forward to this awesome battle. I know I am. So let's get joined up with Kurt and see what happens. All right, here we are searching for Kurt. And I've been looking forward to this match for a while. We found him pretty quick, not too bad there. And we're just gonna have to see what he brings. Okay, so not the team that I was expecting. Um, I definitely don't know what I'm supposed to do about Gloom and Hariyama. I mean, I guess I have a lot of flying uh, coverage on this team, but I don't really have a great, um, a great answer for Gloom. I don't have something that I necessarily want to go to sleep. So that's not going to be great. Um, Pelipper is my dedicated lead. So that's what we're going to go with this week and see what happens. Uh, if we see Raiko, then we go our Chaladon. If we see something else, then question mark, question mark. Um, but yeah, so we see Treads. Okay, interesting. I mean, Treads is fine. Treads isn't something I, would ne I was necessarily expecting this match just because you know rain team uh but i guess i guess it works out here so um i cannot stay in here because there might be a volt switch incoming um so i think this is probably my best option here is just go into the tusk um it can take a volt switch uh, if he wants to go for an earthquake that's fine if he wants to go for rocks then i can spin um whatever whatever he wants to do yep we catch the volt switch so that's fine um then I guess I can set rocks. I mean, you go gloom here, but like, I mean, Ice Spinner's not doing anything to that. So yeah, let's just set rocks. That's fine. Rocks are pretty good. And I mean, this gets his spinner out. So he's got to get it back in and we'll find out if that's boots or, um, or whatever it happens to be. Uh, I assume that this is a violite, although it, I guess it could be like it could be sunny day even um it could be sunny day chlorophyll which could be could be interesting i would i would kind of i would kind of i would, would kind of like that that would be that would be kind of cool um what do i want to go to sleep that's the that's the fun the fun part of this what do i want to go to sleep uh there isn't much that i really want to go to sleep to be honest with you because i need this for Ryko. um this is just kind of a general breaker. This is good for gouging. This is good for gouging. Uh, I think it's gotta be zap, unfortunately. As much as I don't want to, and as much as I want that set to put in work, uh, I I think it's gotta be, I think it's gotta be this. Is that a mistake? 
Probably. We'll, uh, we'll just have to find out. Um, I mean, I could have spinnered there, but that's, like, that's doing, like, maybe 30%, 40%. It's not doing all that much, to be honest. Um, so that's, that's a little unfortunate. Um, so we get to burn one sleep turn here. Um, we get to burn our guaranteed. Uh, goes into El Tigre. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, but we go our Chaladon on this every time, so that is what I am going to do. But we go ahead and burn our guaranteed turn, so that's fine. I'm going to go into our Chaladon here, and we've we've got a lot of Spadef on this, a lot of Spadef. So we should be able to take any uh, any two hits. I don't think that you call and go for Aura Sphere here. So um, you know he might be running Thunder, which could could make sense, um, but we do have the uh, the mirror coat in order to smack this thing back. Uh, all right, using weather ball, that's fine. It's not going to do anything, uh, so that's that's fine with me. That's going to boost my stamina here real quick. And do I reveal the tech? I think I do. I think he's got he's got to go for aura sphere here, right? He could be choiced, maybe. I mean, I was expecting Scarf. No, nope, he's not Scarf. He's not Choice. Or a Spear. Woo! That, he crit me? There's no way you live this, then. There's no way you live this. Come on, our Chalodon. Let's go. We get our Citrus Berry. Oh, man. I, I didn't go with the other berry because I was calking for it not critting, but luckily we lived. Mirako back. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's go, our Chalodon. I, I love that. You love when a strat works out, and that is a huge threat. And I'm just now seeing that there's no septile on my opponent's team. I'm just I'm just now seeing that. So that was the fastest thing on my opponent's team gone. Um, Treads is still pretty quick. Um, I mean, we're plus two at this point. I'm gonna click body press in case he tries to get greedy with rocks. Oh, he's special. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, all right, so Arch gets one kill. We'll take the, honestly, that's a huge, that's a huge KO. So I will, I will absolutely take that. Um, I'll go into Manny here, because I, I still don't think that you can uh, take me on. So, works for me. That's, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. That's cool. You love, you love when a plan comes together. Um, so, I mean, I could just fire off an Earthquake here. There's not a whole lot that you want to do, that you can that you can do to me here. Um, Spinner catches Gloom, but I mean, I don't know if Gloom is the switch in again. Um, I'm just going to click Kikyu. It's neutral to Gloom, um, so I mean, it'll do probably like 20%. Uh, Gloom's, Gloom's pretty bulky. Like, I, I, th I don't think people realize just how bulky... If I like Gloom can be, but that Weather Ball kind of makes me think that he's looking for. Ooh, okay, we caught it. We caught it, and he's gonna pop our Mirror Herb. Uh oh, he's gonna pop our Mirror Herb. <laughs> so now we're gonna be faster. Oops, <laughs> there, there goes that. So yeah, we're we're fast now too. Didn't even have to rapid spin, and ouch, that did a lot. That did a lot, a lot. Um, I think I can just EQ again. I mean, I mean, actually, I think I spin her because that catches Gloom. Um, although, I mean, I, I don't know. Let's see. Because, yeah, he did rapid spin on that. Um, do you stay in? Because I could rocks again here. I could rocks again. I'm gonna EQ. I'm gonna get some damage off on something. Yeah, he go he switches out. That's fine. Um, so yeah, Treads is at like at like a quarter, roughly. Yeah, there's the Gloom. How much is this gonna do? Not much. I don't think it's gonna do much. Well, hang on. That so Earthquake did Earthquake did like 45 or some. Yeah, 41 to 49 is uh, 
what it would be if he's max HP. So he's probably spadef, I would imagine. And so Ice Spinner has a chance to KO. It's definitely not guaranteed. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I mean, I don't think you can do a whole lot of damage to me. You probably want to Sunny Day, honestly. And I'll click Ice Spinner. Oh, that did nothing. Strength Zap. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's great. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good that's a good play. That's a good play. Yeah, he's all the way back up to full. I don't like that. Uh, we're going back to Zapdos. <laughs> I don't I don't like that. Yeah, not a not a fan. Not a fan. We're getting out of here. So yeah, you can't put anything else to sleep. Um, I don't know what this really wants to do. If you're like Leech Seed or. Um, or what this this thing just kind of just kind of sits which is unfortunate uh goes into the gouging fire that is scary very very scary i think i can go pelipper here and then um i need to get kingdra in because kingdra is my dedicated uh dedicated check to this unfortunately i didn't get to burn a turn there because uh, I need to get Pelipper in. I don't need Zapdos taking a bunch of unnecessary damage. Um, I, I guess I could have gone Sableye, Thunderfang. Oh, that's a good call. Good call, good call. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean... Let's see. This is a tough position. This thing this thing is, is rough to deal with. Um, what do we want to do? Could go into this, I guess. I just hate to take a bunch of extra damage for no, for no reason. Um, I just hate for him to click a dragon move here, and just wreck my Kingdra before it can Terra. That's the only thing. Once Kingdra Terra's, then it's it's in a good spot. But I just I don't, I don't I don't like that. I mean. We took that pretty well, though, which is surprising, honestly. Um, I'm going to click Reflect here, see if he wants to stay in, see if he's confident in that. I hate to give up my Lagging Tail here. The Lagging Tail was for Sceptile, but Burning Bulwark, okay, that's perfectly fine by me. He does bring the Bulwark. We, we actually talked about this in prep, of how he hasn't brought this move yet, and, um, and so now here, uh, here we are, him bringing that move. Um, I mean, I could lagging tail something. It would be nice to get rid of that uh, that Aviolite on the Gloom. It would also be nice for uh, Treads to uh, to be really slow. That would be really good. I'm gonna click Trick. I think I think I'm okay doing that. And we get it off on the Gouging Fire, so that's really good. So this thing now has a lagging tail, so it's super, super slow. Uh, so he brought Bulky. This is, he brought my favorite set, although he brought the Hop Plume. Very interesting. Very interesting. So Thunder Fang, Lava Plume. Very, very interesting set. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna knock that off. And I think I can pretty safely go into this, given that that's the set. Um, if I get burned, who cares? But I'm gonna try to Terra and then Whirlpool him in and see what happens. If he predicts this and goes for something crazy, then good for him, but he does go for Dragon Tail. Uh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Yeah, he brings the, the set that I really like on this. Uh, we go back into Sableye, interesting, interestingly enough. Um, and we get some more lefties back, which is which is fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he could just keep clicking Dragon Tail here. I'm going to click Light Screen. If he wants to Dragon Tail me out, that's fine. Uh, just so the Lava Plumes are doing it a little bit less. I mean, they're already doing zero in the rain, but... Uh, yeah, there's the plume. 
but I mean, he, he can fish for the burn, which could be unfortunate. Uh, that definitely would not be would not be optimal if he got that. Uh, but I mean, you saw how little he can do to Kingdra. So I mean, if we can get in on this thing and then Terra to where we can't be hit by the Dragon Tail, then we're in a pretty good spot. So please don't go for Dragon Tail again. Thunderfang, we eat that. Yeah, that does nothing. And he sees that we're lefties and we're taking zero damage. So he's like, this is a weird set. This is very, very strange. Uh, so we lose the Reflect, which is fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Terra. And I'm going to Whirlpool here. He stays in. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You can't, you can't Whirlpool. You can't Dragon Tail this. And I, I don't, I, this set does not win here. I don't need the screens. I don't need the screens at all. So, yeah, this set is definitely... Uh, a fun one. He goes for Burning Bowler. That's fine. I, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. So he is. He is going to see that we're Whirlpool though, and be like, um, "Excuse me, what? <laughs> what? Why? Why are? Why are you doing that? It's not a contact move, so it's fine." Uh, and I don't care about the Swift Swim because he's because he's lagging tail, so that's fine too. Uh, I'm gonna click it again. He'll probably go Gloom, but I mean that's. That's fine. Yeah, there's the gloom. And we miss. Cool, why not? Why not? Why not? Why why wouldn't we why wouldn't we miss? Although in, in fairness in the future we can yawn through burning bulwark. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. This set still completely counters Gouging Fire. There's there's nothing that this Gouging Fire can do. It is now Lagging Tail, so it can't really do anything. We stole the leftovers. Um, I would love to get a trick off on Gloom. I would much rather have leftovers than an Eviolite. So we'll see what, uh, what we can do with that. But I'm going to save this because I don't want to take a Poison move. Um, so I'm going to go Zapdos here. I do need to preserve health on, uh, yeah, Ghost for Sludge Bomb, it's doing nothing, uh, especially through light screen, kind of forgot that that was a thing. Uh, so, I'm going to just click Hurricane here, um, try, to, try to burn another sleep turn, and if he wants to go into Gouging, that's fine. Um, yeah, so we burn another sleep turn, which is good, I guess. Uh, sludge Bomb, feeling a little bit more, but he can't poison me because I'm asleep. Uh, I'm going to click Hurricane again. I do have Roost on this set, and I get the max sleep turns because why not? Yeah, it goes for the Sleep Powder, which makes sense. Uh, he's wanting to put me back to sleep. I get it. Totally get it. Um, so let's go for Hurricane one more time. And he does switch out, so yeah, that's my max, my max sleep turns there. Uh, it does go into Treads. Which also makes sense. And we wake up, finally. And we do hit our hurricane. Great. And that goes down. Perfect. Good job, Zapdos. We'll take that. We'll take that. But, like I said, you know, we, we brought a bunch of inaccurate moves in order to possibly get that... Uh, in order to possibly get the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh, uh, I can just go into this pretty freely, and if he dragon tails me, he dragon tails me. That's fine. If he wants to send me into Kingler the, or into Kingdra, that's fine. Um, but yeah, the Scouting Fire is kind of dead weight at this point. I don't, I don't think there's really a whole lot that it can do. Um, that damage is not great. Um, he's 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 fishing for the burn, which makes sense. You know, I I could always go into Pelipper. Well, no, I can't really because he's got the. Uh, Let's see, I'll go light screen here. Just do a little, uh, a little less damage there, and then I'll go Kingdra after this. Does get the burn, which is you know unfortunate, but I can't click knock off as long as this thing's around because I don't want him to uh, get away with anything. And so yeah, we've got the we've got the light screen going now. I can go back into this pretty freely if I get burned. It's really not the end of the world. 
because um, I'm really not taking much damage here, so that's, that's fine. Thunderfang, fine, doesn't do much. Uh, paralysis would have been kind of sucky, but again, I'm always going to be faster than this, um, so I'm really not that concerned. Uh, this time I'm going to click Yawn. Yeah, because it goes through the bulwark, so that's fine. At least it should, if it works like King Shield, that kind of thing. Yeah, so we do get the Yawn off. So, yeah, now he's like, okay, this set is very weird, and I I, I don't think he expected something like this, which is, which is completely fair. Um, I'm going to go for double Yawn, just to make sure. Yeah, because I figured he'd go into Gloom here. There's gloom. The double yawn, I think, is the is the right play there, just to get this thing into a less annoying state. Um, and I think we go back into Zapdos here, so he's got to switch to keep this awake. And honestly, this thing is a huge thorn in my side that I would love to be gone. So I'm gonna go into Zapdos here. But I have, I have to king, keep Kingdra healthy, otherwise Gouging could still be a bit of a problem because it is so bulky. He does switch again. I guess we could have gone for the triple yawn, but um, that was a little risky. Go Suma. Okay. There's Hariyama. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, he doesn't have a Terra Captain this week, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, I'm just going to click Hurricane here just to get some damage on whatever he wants to switch in. I think it's pretty free. I do miss. But that activates my blunder policy so we get to show off the tech a little bit. Um, and he could be guts maybe? He's knockoff so that's gonna deal less because, oh he crit me though, which is unfortunate. Uh, so we're gonna click hurricane again. The crit's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We do hit the hurricane this time. And it almost one-shots. It barely lives. There's the bulk up. Okay. So the question is, does he have bullet punch? And do I live one at plus one? That is the question. Uh, he's lefties. Makes sense. I feel like I might, I might be able to, right? I just click a neutral weather ball. Yeah, he just stays in. So we'll take that. I don't know if... Yeah, we'll, we'll take that down. That's that's fine. Zapdos taking a KO there. We'll take it. I guess he didn't have bullet punch, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what the what the play was there, but... Um, we are plus two. Not that that matters really against this. This looks like a free opportunity to roost, as far as I'm concerned, because you can't really do a whole lot to this either. So, I'm gonna just get my health back real quick. And if you burn me, you burn me. Not really concerned. Yeah, uh, we'll just click Hurricane again. Why not? We do miss. Unfortunate. But, but you know, it's part of it's part of the game. When I was when I was testing, it was funny because I kept hitting all of my hurricanes and not getting any of my uh, any of my blunder policy activations, which was unfortunate. That two shots we will take those and I do live I do live so that's good that's good Kingdra give me Kingdra okay I mean that's not the worst thing that's not the worst thing in the world because um, we do we do have EQ uh, did I ever set rocks again I don't know if I did no I never did could go rocks um, could also just click earthquake and yeah, he clicks Burning Bulwark, which is fine. I could have rocks there, which probably was better. But Earthquake doesn't make contact, and that's why I brought that over Headlong Rush. Um, if I had brought Headlong Rush, that would have burned me, and that would have been no good. But... Yeah, I mean, even if he wants to bring Gloom in here, I think that's fine. Yeah, I just, I just need to be whittling that thing down it's just it's hard because strength sap is really good um i think that thing is a huge pain oh man 
I mean, that's still good damage, but he can just heal all of that off with a uh, with a strength sap, unfortunately. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I think I can go this, and I probably pull a double, to be honest. I need to try to get rid of this thing's a violite. That's the big thing. But I've got to be careful to not take the lagging tail off of... I mean, even if I take the lagging tail off, I mean, it's really not a huge deal, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if anything's going to go to sleep... Uh, I mean, this is already status, so I'm not that worried about it. It's burned, but not that it's dealing any damage anyway. Um, so that's that's fine. I'll, I'll, I've, got a, I've got a status sponge now, which is good. Um, so, I mean, you've only got Slowking, Gloom, and Gouging Fire at this point. So, he does stay in. That would have been a great time to knock off. But, I'm going to go ahead and light screen here. But that does indicate that he's kind of, he's comfortable staying in here. And so, I might just go ahead and fire off a knockoff. I've not revealed my fourth move at this point. And, again, like, even if I take the lagging tail off of gouging as long as Kingdra is still around I, I don't think he can really do anything to me so it's fine so let's click knock here please stay in he does switch oh that's annoying it's really annoying yep goes into that that's annoying so yeah there goes the lagging tail which is unfortunate uh, but that's okay that's all right I don't know why he felt comfortable staying in the first turn and then not the second, but I, it, it is what it is. Um, but I think I go into this, and honestly, I think my play might just be to just click yawn until something goes to sleep. <laughs> to be honest, I, I think I think the play might just be to click yawn until something goes to sleep. Thunderfang, easy. We take those. Um, yeah, lagging tail's gone, so the speed, the speed component is no longer there. But um, I just click yawn here. He does click the plume, which could have let me whirlpool him in. Yeah, I could have, I could have whirlpooled him in right there. I'm gonna click. I mean, he he just goes into gloom here, right? I'll click whirlpool. Why not? Yeah, he does switch. Man, that would have been that would have been the turn. That would have been it. Yeah, goes into this. But I've got I've got to keep this thing healthy, otherwise gouging can, and I miss again. So why not? <laughs> I mean, why 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 wouldn't that? Why would I not? Why would I not miss right there in that moment? Uh, I don't know. But that's fine. Uh, we go back into Sableye here. This is a tough one because we're both kind of vying for position and it's it's kind of hard for one of us to get a foothold since I brought such wonky stuff. If I had brought a serious team, I think I think I probably would have won, but I, I just, I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't. I did not bring a, a serious team this week and that's, and that's fine. So Sableye goes down, which is okay. Uh, gives us a switch into Zap and I think we can just roost. I don't really need the speed anymore, so that's fine. Uh, Roost is pretty free. You don't really have anything that's great into Zapdos, to be honest. Because uh, Gouging doesn't take another Hurricane, as long as I hit. Um, this probably doesn't take a Hurricane if I hit. And then Slowking doesn't take a Thunder. So, I... I think the play is get this to wake up. Maybe the maybe the play was to not let this go to sleep. It was go to Pelipper, let it go to sleep, and then and then let this do its thing. Uh, maybe that's the play. So I need to burn my sleep turns here. So I think this is my win con. I think that's my that's my my current theory. Uh, so we'll go ahead and burn a sleep turn there, which is fine. Uh, we immediately go Kingdra. You can't really do anything to that. And we're we're cool. Imagine Kingdra being the, the ultimate check with this goofy set. 
Oh man, this set is ridiculous and I love it. it does nothing. That's fine. He hasn't gotten any of the any of the low chance uh, low chance anything yet. All right, I'm cl I'm clicking whirlpool here. He he stayed in last time. I'm gonna click it again. Why not? He does stay in. Can we hit our whirlpool? We've missed twice. We miss again. <sighs> what is the accuracy on whirlpool? Like I'm being serious. What even is the accuracy on whirlpool? 85, and we've missed three times. Come on. <laughs> this this Kingdra is completely blind. Kingdra's completely blind. There, he gets, he gets the burn. He gets a 10% chance, but I can't get an 85% chance to hit. There we go. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Although in fairness, I probably could have fired off a Dragon Pulse at any point. <laughs> but I'm just like, I need this tech. I need this tech to happen. It's the whole point of me bringing it was for, for me to put in work. But I can probably just click Dragon Pulse here and, and take him out, and it's, and it's fine. I just wanted to actually be able to click Whirlpool. <laughs> uh, so it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to click Dragon Pulse here and take this out. So should should go ahead and, yeah, Thunder Fang is fine. Doesn't deal all that much. Dragon Pulse can go ahead and take this out. Again, I could have clicked that at literally any time. But it's fine. I wanted I wanted the meme. I wanted the meme and and we made it happen. <laughs> we we made the meme happen. That's all that's all that matters, right? We're we're doing it for content this week and uh, and we're having a good time. So, this this is a fun team. I th I thought it'd be fun to bring some some not so serious stuff against Kurt and so uh, so that's what we brought. And again, this little uh, this little guy. This little guy uh, what do I do? I think I just click yawn here. Yeah, I click yawn. He actually doubles. Interesting. Going into slow king. I guess he called my switch into Pelipper, maybe? I'm not sure. But I'll click yawn there. Why not? Um, I think my, my goal here is to just click yawn until something goes down to be honest, because I can't really do anything to this. Uh, yeah, this can take pretty much anything, and I just want something to go to sleep. So I think I just spam yawn until something finally goes down. Yeah, he swaps again, that's fine. We're gonna be here a while, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep, keep, keep uh, clicking yawn until, until something happens. Again, that's kind of what Whirlpool is for, just to trap something in and then let the uh, let the yawn stick, but that's fine. Question is, does he does he stay in here and? I mean, I'm, I'll click I'll click Dragon Pulse here just to get some damage. I'm not physically offensive, so I mean, I'm not I'm not healing him up that much with. He stays in, so he's gonna let this go to sleep. Yeah, that deals zero damage. Quick Sludge Bomb, it's fine, but that's gonna let me set up for an end game. Uh, so I go into Pelipper, immediately go into, or well, I don't even need to go into anything with Pelipper, I guess. Nah, I mean, so it fell asleep, so that's good. So we go this, and we click U-turn, go into Zapdos, and uh, profit as long as we wake up in a reasonable amount of time, I think. And then we've got our contingency plan in the back if we need to. If we need it, yeah, I click U-turn here, just in case he wants to switch into Slow King. He does not, which is fair. He's trying to burn off sleep turns. I, I get. I could have clicked Hurricane there. Probably would have KO'd, but I want to burn sleep turns here. And once I wake up, I think it's pretty much game. I think? Question mark. So he goes in, burns his guaranteed turn of sleep. Uh, we're all we're all just we're all just taking a bunch of naps here on the field. Yep, I'm taking a nap. Uh, Gloom, Gloom may. Yep, Gloom's taking a nap. We're all we're all just taking some big naps out here. That's that's all that's all that's happening right now. Just some big naps. Of course, I get the full the full three turns of napping. Why not? Uh, oh, he does too. <laughs> we're both we're both very very sleepy, and that's and that's okay. So we should both wake up here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna click Hurricane here. 
should take this out no problem gloom is gone last should be slow king and that's not going to like taking a thunder to the face so uh that should be that should be good game that should be game um I love, I love when a plan comes together, right? And we brought some interesting stuff. We got the Miracoat Archaladon to work to take out that Raikou. That was huge. Um, that was that was absolutely huge. Um, so yeah, here's the Thunder. Doesn't quite KO because Slow King is insane. Goes for the Calm Mind. Yeah, I mean, might as, might as well if I don't have anything to hit you. Uh, this, this could definitely have been uh, pretty scary. But uh, yeah, two thunders in the rain will uh, will definitely take care of this. So no uh, no issues there. Another one, and we take those. Very good. So GG to Kurt. Uh, my first time getting to play Kurt, and uh, we get to meme. We get to meme on him pretty hard, and I and I think that's what kind of threw him off, which was kind of the whole point was bring weird stuff that he wouldn't know what to do with and uh and go from there so i appreciate you all for watching we're we're now two and two so we're gonna we're gonna try to claw our way back here and uh and see if we can't make a run at playoffs here as as we go on we're about halfway through the season and so if we can have a solid back half then who knows we'll we'll see what happens but thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have a great day and a great week and we will see you all next time stay safe out there Bye bye Thank you.